Good afternoon, COM3928, Dr. Mueller, just a little bit after noon on Monday. Um, I've been spending about an hour and a half just now and trying to find an interesting and fun way to touch just a little bit on text analysis. You know, we did save uh, the, uh, you know, uh, open-ended responses from our consumers writing about their perception of messaging with their power companies. Remember, we copied that pasted it in into its own separate Excel file, et cetera, okay? I did take that into sentiment analysis. Um, be, based on maybe the minimal amount of, you know, copy we got back, it's not doing a real good job of analyzing subjective and objective comments. Actually, there's also positive and negative, and I've checked some, and I didn't, I just didn't feel that was worth our time because the results weren't there that were really great to report, okay? Then I started to think about other text analysis that we could do, and that would take more software downloads. And honestly, I, I hate to download and have to train on another new software to, to run one thing. Okay, so I did have one idea. Uh, one of the most cutting edge uh, softwares out there is called Linguistic Inquiry and Word Count, L-I-W-C, and for some reason they call that Luke. And uh, I have a copy of Luke. I've been working with that for over a year now. I've done some text analysis research. It's, it's amazing because it takes, uh, you know, text as we would have at different fields of text responses and turns that into about 30 different quantitative variables. Um, you know, authentic, clout, um, tone, drive. These are all calculated using different word banks and association of words. And, you know, basically I could say by someone's writing about something, let's say a short essay, I could tell if that was, you know, really high drive. The person has a lot of drive or low drive. Uh, authentic might be transparent. You know, again, on a one to hundred scale, you know, a 92 would mean highly authentic, transparent and open. A 27 might mean really closed and not very authentic or maybe honest. So there's a lot of ways to look at text analysis. Nonetheless, the authors who created Luke have a website where we can go and uh, do it ourselves and practice for the first time. Okay, and I'd like to do that for the class. So a couple things to show you. I'm going to capture the screen. And you might remember this. This is our, you know, text that we took out of our survey data, right? And I remember I cleaned mine all up. I believe for the test we're going to run, you only can do a thousand words max. So I just, you know, found a good cluster of text. You know, if you look through yours, find a chunk where there's, you know, good solid text and then, you know, copy. All right. So you've got that copy. All right. And then we go up here and this site, I'll have this posted in our assignment. Just click into here and it tells you about what uh, LIWC is all about. Um, if you're ever interested in the future, a license is like $89. This is very affordable if you want to do it, okay? But here, look down in the bottom is give it a try. That's us. That's us today, all right? So look at this. How would you classify this text, right? And by the way, they use all this to try to better and continue to work on the analysis this software provides. So if you look through here, I would put, uh, what would you call ours? Not personal, not correspondence. I would probably call it uh, professional correspondence. Maybe not. Maybe it would be social media. Maybe not. Uh, what would you like to call it? So let's just call it uh, personal writing. Okay? Because it is. It's people writing personal. Okay? And then when we set that, go in here and enter your text. Right click. Right? And I'm going to go paste. And I've put that amount in there, right? That was just that little bit I grabbed. And if you noticed, here at approximately 1,000 words. So I don't know how much I put in there. But, you know, you can even do a word count if you want. Make sure it's less than 1,000 words or 5,000 characters. And then hit Analyze. And what it will do is run it. And here it is. This is what we get back. And I think this is interesting. Here's our data. And here's the average for personal writing, okay? Okay. So it's fun to look at this. Remember this analytic clout? I told you, these are some of the major measured variables. Here is the average for what all their word banks say. 
and here's the power of ours. So look with clout, that would be the authority people speak. The overall average for that is 37, we're at 60. So our respondents had a lot, lot more authority, maybe affirmation on what they believed in, all right? Authenticity, remember authentic? The, Nash, the average for this would be 76, we're at 41. So it shows maybe authentic, that transparent tone wasn't there. And emotional, here's our average, and here is our emotion. We're high, much more, more emotional than their average for, for uh, personal writing, okay? So go ahead, run this, do a screen snip that shows you ran it, okay? And down here then, if you wanna see, this is basically um, putting in what I put in here. It shows what we put in. And you can learn more if you'd like to, but for this assignment, you know, it shows on you know, our 100 point scales, it'll tell you more, but save this as a screen snip, embed this in your assignment, okay? And then go ahead and make some comments, write a short report on what you think this would mean based on the, the, their national average to what our respondents said, okay? So uh, that's it for now. Again, just a real introductory way of looking at what this does. And if any of you are interested, please post in Virtual Coffee Shop. I'd be glad to do much more. I'll show you an actual output from Luke and show you some of the demonstrated responses I've got doing text analysis of student essays, okay? So that is it for now. Uh, try it, clip it, show me you did it, and then write a little bit about it uh, based on what we did versus what the national average might be. All right, thanks a lot.